Hi, and welcome to the Build Your Own Business Website Tutorials. My name is Rick Anderson, and I'll be your instructor in this tutorial. The goal of these tutorials is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. In this tutorial, we'll learn the easiest method I know of adding a custom image header to our Thesis 1.6 site. This method does not involve knowing, understanding, or deliberately using either HTML or CSS. Now this method does have its limitations. It's not as flexible as other methods that are dependent on PHP, HTML, and CSS, but on the other hand it's very easy to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. There are four steps in this process. Step one is to install the OpenHook plugin. Step two is to create a sandbox page. Step three is to insert the banner image in the sandbox and format it. And step four is to transfer the banner from our sandbox to OpenHook. Okay, so I've created a demonstration site located at www.banner1.byobwebsite.com. And this has a default installation of Thesis 1.6. I've made very little changes to it other than adding a couple of pages and giving it some titles. We're going to scroll down here and log into our site. And again, we're going to scroll down to Plugins. Select Add New. And then in the search box, let's search for Thesis. Now this search returns a bunch of different plugins that are Thesis related. But we are going to install Thesis Open Hook. Let's go ahead and select Install. It says the plugin hasn't been tested with my current version of WordPress. I'm currently using WordPress 2.91, but it works just fine with it. So select Install now. It's installed, and now we have to activate the plugin. Okay, and now the Thesis Open Hook plugin is activated. If you want to see evidence of that, you can just scroll down here under Appearance and th see Thesis Open Hook. If you select that, you'll see that that Open Hook Settings page opens up. Now, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail about how to use Thesis Open Hook, but it does take advantage of one of the most powerful elements of the Thesis theme, and that is hooks. And hooks are nothing more than placeholders scattered throughout the theme for you to add custom functionality. And we're going to use a hook to add our banner image to. Okay, so we've got this thesis open hook here. The next thing I want to do is go over to Pages and Add New. And this is step two. We're going to add a sandbox page. And let's just call it Sandbox. Actually, if you call it One Sandbox, it'll always stay up near the top. The purpose for the sandbox page is to allow WordPress to generate the CSS and the HTML that you need in order to insert this image. And so the sandbox page is not something that you're ever going to publish publicly. It's just a place where you're going to do stuff, copy it, and then paste it to open hook. So one of the things that we're going to do with that is we're going to change this from public to private. Say OK to that. And then when we update the page, uh, it'll be published, but no one else will have access to it. Okay, so now we need to go get our image. So we'll go ahead and use the Add Image feature. And we're going to select the file from our computer. I have this Banner 1 JPEG that I created specifically for this purpose. Okay, it's been loaded in now you can see that its dimensions are 950 pixels by 150 pixels. Now the default installation of Thesis gives you three columns. If you add up the widths of those columns, you'll see that they add up to 870 pixels. Although by, by the time you add all the padding around them, that actually totals up to 950 pixels. And when we've got it inserted, I'll show you what I mean by that. This width is variable, and it depends on how you've set up your columns. The trick is you can't really take your columns and add them all up and say, 
my columns add up to 870 pixels, so I'll put in an 870 pixel wide banner because Thesis provides built in padding for those columns. And you probably need to add something in the range of 80 pixels in order to accommodate that. It is variable, and you'll need to check it for your own configuration. Okay, so next we have the title. Now we want to give this a much more descriptive title because this is what people are going to see when their mouse hovers over the, our banner. So I'm going to add CSS, question mark. We don't need no stinking. CSS. Okay, and then we're going to scroll down here to the link URL. Now we want it to link directly to our home page. So we're just going to type in HTTP colon backslash backslash banner one dot BYOB website dot com. And then we want it to be left aligned, we want it to be full size, and we want to insert it into our post. Now we can go ahead and update our page. And so now we have added this custom banner to our post. So now what we have to do is we have to switch out of visual view and switch to what's called source view or HTML view. And that's this right here. Now this actually is all the HTML and CSS associated with this image as it is. So we are going to copy this HTML and CSS. So select it all and say control C. Now we're on to the fourth step in this process where we scroll down to thesis open hook. Yes, we can go ahead and leave this page, it doesn't matter. We've already saved it. And now we are going to scroll down to before header and we are going to paste that text that we copied next we want to check this box execute PHP on this hook we want to check the box remove thesis nav menu we want to come over here and copy this little section of gray code so we're just going to copy that but only that little section you can see they're highlighted so control C to copy we're going to go right up here in front of the text that we just pasted and we're going to control V to paste we're going to hit our little last save button it says the customizations have been saved so let's take a look at that let's come up to our upper left hand corner here and right click on this link open link a new tab presto changeo now we have a, this banner here. Now one of the things we probably want to do is we probably want to get rid of the header and the tagline. So we'll go back over here to our dashboard. Scroll down to thesis options. And then under display options, header, expand that and turn both of those off. Select save. Go back to our website and refresh it. That header is now gone. Here we are at our home page. We can go to our about page. If we hover over there, you can see CSS. We don't need no stinking CSS. And if we select it, it takes us back to our home page. We go over to our blog. It's still clickable. It takes us back to our home page. Now, if you want to get rid of all this white space, you can't without knowing CSS and HTML. If you want to take the navigation bar and move it down below this, you can't and still keep this clickable unless you know CSS and HTML. So it's not as flexible a solution as you might like, but it does put a nice big banner there that is clickable, that does have the name of your website and your tagline on it, or any other kind of image that you'd like. Now one final comment about the 950 pixels. You can see that it was my intention for the banner to start at the edge of the navigation bar and to end at the edge of this subscribe and that's why I picked 950 pixels. But the actual width of your banner is going to be dependent upon how you set up your site. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. 
For more video tutorials on how to build your own business website using WordPress and Thesis 1.6, visit my website at www.byobwebsite.com. Thank you.